What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos. I'm Rod and today I'm gonna to be giving you What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos, I'm Rod and today I'm going to be giving you my review on the Jag oil cooler. So make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Alright guys, so I just got done, uh, well me and Lego just got back from that trip as you guys already know and uh, I think it was like just over 2,000 miles. Um, anyway, so ran the oil cooler on it, like Lego said in our previous video, we hooked it up, probably wasn't. Uh, the smartest thing to do to leak check it on the road but uh, I'll be the first to tell you it didn't leak um, me and Lego use a lot of plumbers tape uh, someone reached out to us on YouTube and told or I'm sorry on Instagram and told us that uh, we should put Loctite on the uh, hose clamps uh, we didn't do that but uh, we didn't have any leaking the one thing though that we did run into is uh, the fan actually broke on the ride um, so that's one thing that kind of sucked uh, however Dennis and Kirk did send me where I ordered it from did send me a new fan all right I'll, sh I'll show you a closer look of actually what happened to the fan I just want to know did the oil cooler work is it worth the money all right so first first answer is um, yes it did work the fan did stop working so I don't know how good it's gonna work in traffic because the fan wasn't pulling air through because when we got in Nashville the thing broke and just stopped working um, however Lego does have that dipstick with a the thermostat on it and after riding a hundred miles on the last day I took my oil temperature when we got back and it was I was at 231 degrees and then I wiped it off put it in Lego's bike let it sit there for I don't know three to five minutes and let it get up to temperature and his bike was at about 253 degrees so it cooled at about 22 degrees oil the only difference between me and Lego's bikes is he's got a TBR and he's got a SNS intake I still have stock intake and stock exhaust um, that's the only difference oh yeah and he has a Vance and Heinz uh, tuner but those are those are the only differences and we we're running about 20 22 degrees difference so I would say does this thing cool down oil yes um, now like I said earlier I don't know how well it works in traffic because my fan did stop working all right like I said earlier uh, I got a new fan sent to me um, so if you're not traveling in a city or uh, in a tra in an area where there's high traffic you might want to uh, just consider getting the one without the fan I think it's like a hundred and some dollars cheaper um, but if you're in an area where there's a lot of traffic I just moved up to the DC area um, that's why I got the one with the fan but uh, it works it cools down oil 20 degrees that's what was claimed that's what I read on reviews um, so it does work so right now I'm gonna put this on you guys can watch um, but that's my review on the oil cooler I would say if you're if you're running over a hundred cubes or higher um, I would say you know look into it look into one I know all the new Harleys well not all, I don't know if all the new ones but a lot of the new models come with uh, oil coolers because um, a lot of them are getting up there in a hundred and seven hundred and fourteen hundred and seventeen uh, cubic inch um, range so I think if you're running over a hundred cubes or in an area that's super hotter with with a lot of traffic it's probably a good idea to get an oil cooler all right guys so like I said my fan broke on the trip um, so this is what it's doing right here as you can see I'm gonna take it off uh, I'm gonna disconnect it right here and then I'm just gonna hook the new one up it should be pretty easy
right guys so this is what I was talking about right here all right if you can see this all right the fan just came just broke all right the fan's supposed to be mounted here all right it just completely broke here's the new one all right it's just gonna fit right in there like that so we're gonna take off these screws right here these Phillips head screws and then we're gonna mount the new one You guys are going to beat me up for this. I'm prepared. I do not know where I put my Loctite. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to wing it for now until I get to the store and pick up some Loctite. I'm going to have to uh, pull these bolts out one by one and Loctite them. But in the meantime, going to install this new fan shout out to Dennis and Kirk for uh, sending me the new fan So there's the fan. Now we're going to mount it. 